What is going on YouTube? This is Nick with Hilltop TCG back here with another video and today we are going to be reviewing some graded card mystery boxes from Walmart. Let's go. Oh baby. Are you kidding me? Is that Krom? Oh baby. No. You missed it Jess. No. This is not real. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh, that's my face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is going on, Hilltop TCG family? That is right. I mean, check it out right here. So this is going to be a sports video, but it's very interesting. I guess I don't want to cover up my face. I got four of these bad boys. Let's get let's get on to them real fast. We're, we're going to be doing a fun review. This is interesting product for me. I, I personally love... Uh, I got my, my cord hanging out. There we go. Personally love mystery products. This one is sports. But it's uh, PSA, not PSA cards, it's graded cards. We'll, we'll get into that here in a second. But so it's specifically for football, gem of the ga game trading cards. You get one graded card per box, guaranteed in nine or higher, which is really cool. And it says, look for graded rookie card autographs. If you guys want to pause it on this, it's just basically their disclaimer. It's made by MJ Holdings. There's no guarantees on this box. Um, packs are normal or randomly inserted down there. Um, so my guess, my predictions. Okay, let's talk about the financials on this. $12 per box, which is actually really good. $12 for a graded card. Not bad at all. Um, if you notice real fast, they got BGS on the front. They got PSA on the back. I, I would be very surprised if there was a BGS or PSA card in here. I bet you it's the other grading companies. S, what is it, SGC... Uh, CHG, ABYZ, <laughs> all those other grading card companies. I bet you it's from them. So I'm interested to see if uh, we can beat the $12 mark on these. My guess is they opened up like, you know, like they go find a $50 mega box, right? Of football. They open it up and they get 50 cards, right? So it's a dollar per card. No matter who the player is, no matter what it is, they go send all those off to a grading company, pay, you know, four or five bucks to do it, and that's their profit margin. I bet you money that's what it is. So it'd be very, I would be very surprised if we got a named rookie quarterback or anything of the sort. So this is going to be a quick video, guys. There's only four of them. Um, there's only four in Walmart. I probably would have bought out the whole shelf because I love these things and I want to I wanna test it out. Um, so, I mean, they had like this, the ugly, nasty plastic wrap on them. Um, so that's my prediction, you guys. I would love, absolutely love to be uh, pleasantly surprised. That's my guess. Is it's not going to be PSA or BGS, and they probably just sent off every player they could possibly get, just opening boxes and just and just sent it off, right? All right. So great packaging. It's clean. It's small. So I give them an A plus already for packaging. It's not like this massive box with paper in it. All right. So let's see. I'm gonna just take take a little peek. See here. All right. So it's well packaged on the inside. You kind of see well packaged. They're not. I mean, it's gonna wiggle around, but nothing nothing too crazy. All right. So, yep, there we go. So it's the leaf. It's a leaf card. Um, Beckett.com slash BCCG. So it's the BCCG grading. So it is a mint to 10 leaf draft Courtney Upshaw linebacker. So, I mean... This is my first time seeing it. It's in a slab. No, I mean, again, this is this is going back. This is nobody I know, and this is just this is terrible at the top. Like this just looks like a piece of paper. Like it's bent. You can't probably see it on the screen, but the piece of paper isn't flat on the inside in there. Uh, very. I like the slab. Very poor insert. If they made this look cooler, it would be cool. But there we go. So I bet you. I'll look up comps on these too. If I can find some, I'll look up comps on this. If I can find some, um, and put them down below to see if we can beat the twelve bucks per that we paid. But my guess is is very is, is we're not gonna come close. Even even with that thing being a ten, I bet you there's not much of a population for it. So I'm really kind of disappointed that we got leaf draft right. Like you think, I mean, it doesn't cost that much to even buy prism prism draft picks, right? Get prism draft picks or something like that. All right, all right, second one, here we go. All right, is it gonna be the same grading company? Let's see, let's see. Um, okay, so it's, 
All right, so I can't I can't hide the player, but there we go. Let's see. Um, Cardinals. Okay, so it's by again the same company, BCCG, David Johnson. So looks like a non rookie of any sort to ten. Arizona Cardinals Panini. So this is 2018, just base Panini. So okay, it's better than Leaf. I'll give I'll give him that. I'll, I'll I'll give him that. I love one rookie, but yeah, I mean I'll again I'll look up comps on these, but I bet you there probably really, really isn't any because there's nobody there's nobody going out and grading that card. I'm sorry, there's there's nobody. I mean maybe somebody loves David Johnson. I really think this is a fun idea. Like spend a few extra bucks, get like sets players want. And then go fork out the money on actual or sets people like and players people want, right? I don't know. I think it's a fun idea, but they just obviously took the cheap route. All right, so again, they had PSA on, or BGS on the front, PSA, and it's another BCCG Chris Polk Mint 10 2012 Leaf, Leaf Drafts. Chris Polk, you guys. We are coming in clutch here. I mean, that's insane. I bet you this cost him. I bet you it cost him two, three bucks to do this, man. So they're they're making over a hundred percent profit margin on these things. I'm glad I'm ripping into these, so you guys don't have to. Maybe, maybe there's this guy. I bet you it's like click play, like doing like the Charizard first edition from 1999 on the box. There's no way they actually put that in the boxes. There's no way. And anything different? Nope. So we got Julio Jones. Not bad. Panini 2018 Panini Mint to 10. Julio Jones. So the slab is actually really nice. Like getting in, getting a card in a slab, super cool. But like, I can't convey even the top of this, this insert right here. Like it's not straight. Like it's curved. I mean, it's just white and black, plain. There you go, guys. Hopefully. I'll throw up some prices on the screen if there is any. If there, if I can't find any, I won't put it on there. I'll put some question marks or something. But there you go. So for twelve bucks, it's actually a really fun idea. Like, really fun idea. Um, but there you go. I mean, this is the outcome. It's a fun idea, but I think they definitely uh, cheaped out on this front. But fun idea. There's my first BCCG slabs. <laughs> But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this product in the comments. What is a seven minute video? How did you make it to 10 minutes? But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this is a good helpful review for you guys searching out this product on YouTube to kind of be aware of what you're probably getting into. Maybe there's some bangers, who knows? Uh, but yeah, fun idea for 12 bucks. Probably wouldn't recommend it. 12 bucks is cheap, but yeah, I, I probably wouldn't recommend it based on this. Um, yeah, all right, you guys. If you have, if you, I mean, yeah, made it to the end of the video, absolute legend. But have a great night, weekend, whatever it is for you. Peace.